Hi everyone, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use the window command. So I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna cover the part of the IP address a little bit, the host file, the DNS. So yeah, in case you don't get it, watch a few times, you should be good, okay? Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Dans cette leçon, nous allons donc voir ensemble comment utiliser le window command. Mbote na bandego ni suboza hula nanga, lelo na kukochi bino, ndenge ni ito itiliza gaba, komande oweza na kati ya window, nikubuza na mituna, ndeno baga bozo kukonete na za hapo na ede bino, kukweza na mweo fele. Ete uza na bezo, uza na ope sanga, uza na sala donation, ukote na siti nanga, uza na ute na yu wana, 5 dola, 10 dola, 20 dola, 30 dola, kakayo. So guys, I want to stress this a little bit, okay? Uh, in case you like my video, you want to do some donation, please visit my website. It should be okay there, okay? So uh, in, like I said, in case you don't get it, it's okay. So uh, I'm going to cover a lot of stuff here, okay? Because back in the day, we didn't have uh, uh, the DNS, domain name system. We didn't have it. So we have to go to the uh, host file to do that way, way back in the day. But... Uh, there's one of the, the lady, she's the one who end up bringing the idea, like, uh, what need to be done to solve that problem. Way back in the, in the day, like in 1981 or 82, yes, people struggle a lot. Okay, every time if you want to go on the internet, they have to put that manually. Nakala, nakala, pono kini internet is a problem. Baba neko tango donk manually na maboku. So, um, yeah, so, so I'm going to use a uh, virtual machine and a host machine. So when I say host machine, this is a host machine. Virtual machine, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, so um, this one is my host machine. So this one is window 10. Okay, now I'm going to bring window uh, 7. You guys, you guys can understand. So you see, this one is my host. This one is my uh, virtual machine. This one is my virtual machine. Okay. So I'm gonna do some demo here, and then I'm gonna cover the other stuff here. So in the other video, I'm gonna show you guys also. Um, well, I'm gonna cover this one first for now. Okay. So uh, here we go. So I'm gonna put the password, and then after that, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. So this one is Windows 7, okay? So like I said, in case you don't get it, I'm gonna show you guys again. This one is my host machine. This one is my virtual machine. When I say a host machine, it means physical machine, okay? So anything I'm gonna do here, if in case uh, something goes wrong here inside, it's not gonna affect this one, okay? But in some situation, it can affect it, but I'm gonna show you guys my the other video how it can affect that. So um, the first command we're going to do here, we're going to type some command here. Okay. So now we're going to right click here. You come here. No, you come here and then uh, you go right here. And then here. And then you type CMD. Okay. When you tap that, you click next. After that, you click finish. Okay. Now this is what we got. There's another way you can do it. You can go right here. You can go right here. You can go here. And you click right there. This one, this one if you're using Windows 7. Now, let's say if you have Windows XP, Windows 8, like Vista, the other window. I can also show you guys my the other video how to do. Okay? So, I'm going to close this because we have it here. So right click here, right click on top of it. You run as a DIN. Click yes. Okay. I'm going to close this. You're going to go here in case you don't, you don't know how to do this. You can go here. Right click, click there. You go here. You go right there. Now, when you are here, right click on it. You run as a DIN. Yes. Okay. It's the same thing. Same thing. Now, when you are here, we're gonna do, we're gonna write uh, a few commands. Eh? We're gonna write a few commands. We're gonna write a few commands. So, try, in, like I said, in case you don't get it, 
try to uh, practice several times, you should be good, okay? So when you take a look, as we got some message here. You're gonna see the IP address. You see this number here. You see this number here. Do not panic. Some of you may say, "Then why are you showing this private and those numbers?" Don't worry. Main reason I'm doing this. I wanna show you guys. Um, in case you have no knowledge, you. I want you guys to understand. Eh? So. Oh, the next comment we're gonna do here the same thing we're gonna just wait of this we're gonna type uh, facebook huh? we're just gonna like this facebook enter When you take a look, now we're gonna type another one. Okay, so um, because I wanna show you guys, uh, now we're gonna go, we're gonna type Yahoo. This one, okay. You see this? You see the number here? This number, binary number. Okay, here right now, you don't see the. You don't see the this the the you don't see the binary number, but you see the decimal number. This one are the decimal number, okay? Not the binary, the decimal. But I'm gonna show you guys how we convert from decimal to binary, from binary to decimal, okay? So all this you seeing here, this one, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how we convert them, okay? But right now, let's focus. Let's go step by step, okay? Yeah, so I just want to show you guys now. You see, in computer, in case, you, you know, you have uh, a lot of knowledge in computer, this one's going to be easier for you, okay? Now, um, in computer, we have two parts. When I show you guys the IP address, we have um, two parts there. We call that uh, dynamic and static. You want to set up your uh, your IP address to be manual, uh, uh, static, or dynamic. But um, to get the IP ad address automatically, we have something. Uh, it's called um, DHPC. We also have something it's called DNS. So you have a DNS client. You also have a D, uh, DHPC client. You also have DNS server. You also have DHPC server. You have a client and you have a server. Some of you may say, then where can I go and find it? It's built inside of your router. Okay. So you ha we have two type of IP address. We have the private IP address and we have also the public one. Now, the private IP address is the one you have inside of your computer. The public one is the one outside. For example, if you type, you go on, on Google, okay? Type, what is my IP address? You're going to see your public, address, uh, public IP address right there. Now, if you type, IP config, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And then you're going to see your IP address. Now, we have um, we have uh, the IP address classes. We have class A, B, C, D. So we have a different classes there, okay? But in this class, I'm going to focus on class C, A, B, C. I'm going to focus on C and the class A. A, uh, sorry, the class, uh, the, the other one is like, a, you see like when I'm using virtual machine, you don't really see my, yeah, the IP address. You don't really see it, but I'm going to show you guys because you need to see it to protect yourself, okay? So, um, yeah, so, so if you are new, okay, you don't know much about this, it's okay. 
some of you may ask then, like I said, why do we need IPI? Where it's coming from? How long in case I have that IP address to you? Let let me give you guys an example. Eh? Let's say my, my I have a friend. His name is uh, Steve, and I have another friend. His name is Kevin, and I have another friend. He's uh, African. His name is uh, let's say Jose. They come to visit me, right? But when they come to visit me, they want to use the internet. I have to give them the password because they want to go online on their phone. What happened? I'm not giving them the IP address manually. No. The router, the one I have, or the modem, it builds the router inside. It's the one that's going to give them automatically the IP address. Now, if they, when they, they come to visit me, they use my the internet, they got the IP address, right? And then after that, after that when they, they left my place, they go to their place, my the other friends come. Uh, uh, let's say they come to visit me, the other friends. The other one, his name, let's say, maybe Eric. The other one, his name is William. The other one, his name is An uh, Andre, right? They come to visit me, right? They can still get the same IP address my friend used before. Because what happened, that IP address go back to the pool. I'm not talking about the pool, P-O-O-R, P-O-O-R, no. I'm talking about the pool. It's like the swimming one, the swimming pool. But in the computer, we have the logical thinking, right? So, this way I can put it for you. If you are new, on computer we have something it's called uh, the internet, right? The internet. Think of the internet as a neighborhood. Think about think of uh, the net network ID as a street, okay? And then think of post ID as home address. In case you don't get it. And in a lot of So in this is a component. Omoni is a to be a network ID. Is a local bala bala. So I'm going to speak. To zana bala bala, no? To zana quartier, to zana bala bala, to zana pena address yanda. Hello, bandit of Fana Rana. Now, this is an example. Bandit of Fana Rana Selimbao. Selimbao is a commune. Selimbao is a commune. Selimbao is a commune. Quartier Nayang. Si kona katia quartier, tolo bandit of Fana Rana Ngafan. Si kona Ngafani, is a local quartier. Mais na katia Ngafani, is an address. Let's say, of Fana Rana Kimbondo numéro 30. Ok? Si kona Kimbondo numéro 30, is a adresse nda kuna bino mutu moka za langwa za teka ka bino moko mutu za numero 30 to 33 kolo ba 33 goza mutu mshuju me jamais mutu mshuju a teka kwa numero na bino ya 30 za kaka ya bino moko karatia na bino loko la komuna ngeza nga hafani so oke na bumbu eza ndeng mshuju oke na na makala eza ndeng mshuju oke na ngiri ngiri eza ndeng mshuju internet eza loko la Quartier. Network, network ID est à l'oko la bala bala la rue. La rue est toujours dans la France. En anglais, toujours dans la street. Now, the host ID en anglais, toujours bien en go, home address. C'est-à-dire, il y a une autre chose. Et à l'oko la adresse yandakuna. You know. Eh? Now, so, guys, so I'm going to cover a little bit in Lingala. So I want them to understand. Okay? So that's a, like the way I, I explain Lingala. So the, the, the net, uh, the network ID equal street is like street. Now the neighborhood is like the internet. And the host ID is like your home address. Eh? So I just want to cover that part. So we gonna, in my the other video, I'm gonna show you guys how to convert the binary to data. Eh? Some of you make, like I said, you may question in, where do IP address come from? Yes, I'm going to explain to you guys where they come from, how do you get them, how you, you can also renew them in some situation, okay? You don't need to renew them. It does it automatically. Eh? So, I'm going to cover those in my other video. Eh?
You're gonna hear also we have something called subnet mask. A sub, sub, uh, the subnet mask is a 32 bit address that indicates how many bits in address are being used for the network ID. Eh? So, like I say, in case you don't get it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, when you are here, we're just gonna write this to clean this, okay? Now, you can use this Windows 7, um, XP Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11. It's gonna work those command, okay? So, um, if we type uh, uh, IP config, see the way I'm typing them? Type them the way I'm, I'm writing them, okay? Config, all right, enter, you see, I have, uh, you're gonna see a lot of writing here. Here you're gonna see internet adapter local area connection. When you take a look here, when you take a look, window IP configuration, internet adapter local area connection. Now, when you take a look here, you take a look, we have something here, it's called, you see, link local. IP version 6 address. It's right there. Right? Now, we have IP version 4 address. 10, 0, 2, in there, right? Now, we got the subnet mask 255255. I'm going to show you guys this one. These are the decimal number because human cannot memorize the binary. Okay, it's very long. Now, I'm going to show you guys when we convert binary to decimal, you're going to understand. Decimal to binary, you're going to understand. Okay? Now, if you don't get this part, it's okay. Now, you're going to see something here. It's right in default uh, gateway. This one is like, um, it's like your router. Okay? Your router. So, um, from like the way I'm showing you guys in uh, um from virtual machine, it's a little bit kind of hard to understand because in case you're not using virtual machine, but I'm gonna show you guys when I use my physical machine because when you type the same command on physical machine, yes, your IP address is gonna be uh 192. 92. Oh, you got well, it's gonna start from uh, 192. And then from there you're gonna see it but for now because the um the ip address uh we have the class a b c right and the other two ones i'm not gonna for i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cover uh, the class a and b i'm i'm gonna just cover the class c in this class okay so this one you're seeing here is a private number okay but i'm gonna show you guys the real number of mine Okay, so here we go. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys when I was talking about um the dynamic and the static. Okay, so when we go here, we go in the network. Let me close this now. When we go here, right click here. When you go there, right? I mean, sorry, here. Sorry, when you click here, you see here, right? You open here. Okay. Now, when you open there, you're going to see a lot of stuff here, right? So, we can go, for example, here. We click here. You see, this is right there. But we have the public and the private network. Now, let me go back a little bit and show you guys around. Okay, that way you guys understand. For example, we go here just to show you guys around, okay? This is the home network. Work network public network right the one i'm using is the home network okay now the firewall we don't need to touch anything here we just leave it now when we go to the local here we click there you see here there's a few stuff there are a lot of stuff uh, there's uh, some stuff here but i'm gonna show you guys after okay so let's go back here 
to go there. Now, when you are here, right click, you right click. Tango za awa, click e libo kuna kati kati nango awa. Click e awa. Right click on it. Okay. Oh, sorry. When you here, right click on it inside, you're gonna go here. You click right there. Okay. Now, you're gonna see here inside, you see here, you're gonna see we have an internet protocol version 6. Okay. You can click on it. You can fill them here. This is the part I was talking about dynamic and static. So, in this case, you can also put them dynamics. I, I mean, you can just put them manually if you want. But in this course, I'm not covering this part, okay? So I'm not, we're not doing this, okay? So what happened? Let's close this. This one for the IP ver uh, internet protocol. This is what I, I said, IP version 6. So it's internet protocol version 6. TCP and IP. Now, if you want, we can click here, version 4, the same thing. Okay? But we're running out of IP address for this version 4. Now we're using this one, version 6. Version, uh, uh, this one is only um, my advice to you. If you want to buy a computer, make sure make sure that it's 64-bit, uh, okay? I mean, um, I'm going to show you guys what I mean after, okay? In my the other course. When you want to buy a computer, what you need to do, and then you have to be careful, okay? So, because here, because of the time, I don't want to I don't want to cover a lot of stuff, okay? So, um, when we click here, yeah, that's what I was showing you guys. So you can fill up, you can fill them manual, okay? So we're gonna come here. Now you see here, right click here. You can go here. You click on it. Here, if you want to see the IP address, all those kind of stuff, you click right here. You see here? Right there. You see? It's showing me. You see when I was talking about, uh, when I was talking about uh, DHPC, okay? Physical address is this one. When I say physical address, uh, it's, um, physical address equal MAC address. Mac address, okay. In case you don't get about Mac address, I'm gonna show you guys in a second in a few minutes, okay. Now we have DHCP. This one is we have the client and the server, it's the one who gives you the IP, the one again, it releases the IP address for you automatically. Now we have the IP, uh, IP version 4. This is the one, okay. Uh, we got the IP version uh, 4 subnet. You see, we have 255, 255, 255. Some of you may say, oh, wait a minute, where it's coming from? Don't worry, I'm going to show you where they're coming from later on. Now, this one is my uh, version 4, the uh, IP address version 4, the HPC server. This is the one. Now, we got the DNS. This is the DNS. Okay, the DNS domain name system server. Okay, so if you tap this in your computer, you're gonna see it. Huh? So I just want to make sure that you understand. But in your case, you're not gonna see the 10. Like if I go back here, I go here, I go right here. In your case, it's not gonna be 10 like this. I mean, like my IP address, you see, like my IP address is 10 and this one, right? Yours is not going to be 10. Yours is going to be like a different number because it's a, it's a class uh, C. Okay. So. Yeah. Now, this one is the whole, this one is everything I'm doing here is virtual machine. I'm not using my uh, physical machine. No, it's a virtual machine. Huh? So. Now, when I come here, I'm going to right click, go back there, click here again. Now, I'm going to show you guys a different command, okay? We're going to use a different command, all right? So, in this case, let's say, let me go back. Click. That's the one. You see that one, right? Go back. 
and we're gonna type uh, all eh? you see it's gonna show me a lot of stuff here right a lot you, you can see it okay but in your case you see for example here we got uh physical address this one is a mac address mac address you when you look at it most of the time it's combined with uh the letter but in this case if you look at uh, my uh, you see the one it's a physical address same thing with mac address no different now when you take a look there's a number it's mixed with a letter here okay this one is a physical address this one now we have DHPC is right there. Now we got the IP address, ver uh, IP address version six is right there. This one, okay? It's a long, it's a different. But don't let this long foolish you. It's easy. Uh, we got IP version four address. This is the one ten zero two four uh, uh, fifteen. In your case, it's gonna be different because I'm using virtual machine. That's why the numbers are different, okay? now we have a uh, subnet mask uh, it's 255255 because of uh, class uh, c in class b it's gonna be 255252500 in class uh, a it's gonna be 255000 and then the end is gonna be different okay now you see i got the uh, here we got uh expire you see the date release expired okay so now we got uh let's see the bar uh, we got a dns server this is the what i was talking about it's right there right there okay? now in case you want to know your ip address just do the same thing i just type the same thing i did you're gonna see yours is not gonna be 10 it's gonna be different the main reason I'm getting 10 because I'm using the virtual machine. In your case, it's going to be different. Raison au money, uh, IP address, nangese bima 10.0.2.15, po na naza ko utilize virtual machine. Naza ko utilize Oyo. Oyo is a virtual machine. Machine nanga o is a different. Guys, is one. If I type the same command, I'm not gonna get 10. I'm gonna get different number, but it's still class C. Because I'm using the virtual machine, that's why I'm getting the IP address 10. Okay? In, in your case, when you type, it's gonna be different number here. Okay? So, yeah. So, let me go back. Run as a team. Okay? So, let's say. I wanna uh, release for example. Huh? So you see in some situation, let's say you wanna get the new IP address. Right? You want the new one. And you see this command, if you come here, you type a release. Look at here. You see here, something is changing there. When you take a look in my, you see here, it's changing. You see something there? Now, if you type uh, renew, renew, okay? Type that. It's gonna, you see that? I don't have the internet there. You see, it was off. Now, when you take a look, when I do this, it's done, right? Now, when I start my camp, right now, if you take a look, I go, for example, let's say ping google.com, right? And enter. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna see it's gonna be request you see you see that right so see now i have the internet now okay so when you most of the time when you do that you're done you can restart your computer but when you take a look let me go back again 
let me restart my computer and come back. We're gonna see. Start. Okay, now I'm gonna put my password. Yeah, so we are back here now. We're gonna move on to different code. Okay? So we're gonna come here. Right click on it, like I, the way I did. We go here. We go right here. Right here. When you're here, right click on it, and then you go to run as a D. Okay? Yes. Now, when you are here, we're gonna use different command. So here, if we type ping, let's see. AP. So I just want to show you guys, okay? Now, when we go back, I'm not supposed to close that, but I just want to show you guys, okay? So we come here. Run as a dim right there. So now, uh, if we go ping, okay. So in case you don't know the the definition, when we use uh, a d uh, n l f i v. So you want to know the, 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 the meaning. Okay. So that's why it's right here. Okay. They put it, they put there for us to understand. Okay. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say I type a uh, ping. It's, let me clean this. Okay? Let's say ping www. All right. Google. So you see, we're getting request times out. See that? Supposed to be uh, reapply. So, most of the time when you ping, you see reapply, requests, there's some problem there. You see my the internet, right? So, when we, this one, let's go here, ping, um, you write that one you see this address we're gonna write it okay one four two two five one two the two the eight right like that So if you want to stop this, you can just hold control and shift. Okay. You hold control and shift. You're going to stop that. Okay. So you see when I type control and shift, and then I got out from there. Okay. So I'm going to clean this. Now we're going to type A R P. -E. Now, some of you don't know much about the cache. Okay. What happened? 
You know, sometimes when you go on the browser, you type google.com, you are searching something, you do it over and over. So what happened? You have the cache there. But this course is not part of the cache. Okay? I'm not talking about the cache machine. No, it's a different. Okay? So what's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys uh, my idea the course. Okay? Uh, it's going to be just based on cache. Okay? So uh, when we type this, you see, we have a different stuff here. Okay? We have, you're going to see A, like the other one I did, G, V, S. So, for example, if you type uh, A, it's going to display the, um, let's do the demo and you guys are going okay? to clean this. Now, when we type A, R, P, right? Like minus A, something like this, right? You're gonna see here, I got a uh, interface. It's here, 10, 0, 2, and then user 0, 2, cans, right? Now, you're gonna see uh, something here. This one, internet address is right there. These are like the IP address. The sub mask, the subnet mask is right there, and then I also have a physical address. Okay, when I say physical address, means the other name for physical address is MAC address. Some of you say, then how do I know my MAC address? In your computer, where they build your computer, they put the MAC address there. Even your router. Your modem has a MAC address. Okay, let's say you you uh, you have a different company for your the internet service, and you buy that uh, that modem, right? Now, when you go to a different company, they're gonna ask you your sin your 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 serial number, and they're also gonna ask you your MAC address. Your MAC address they're gonna tell them. Uh, exactly um, which company built it. Like in, let's say, for example, in this case I'm talking about, right? MAC address equal physical address. I'm talking about this one. Because when you take a look at this MAC address, it has a number, decimal number, 52, 54, 00, 12. Um, some of them it's mixed with uh, F. Some of them mixed with a seven, uh, seven, it's mixed with a zero, 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 five E, seven F, 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 A, right? These one are MAC address. Now you're going to see here type. We have dynamic and static. Okay. Now we're going to this. If you have a problem with DNS, your DNS is, you know, you have problem to go outside. It's not working. That correctly, you can use this IP config flash, and you can flash it. And you can flash that. And you can flash it. Right? Now, see. I have to use this. I just want to show you. So if you want to get out in this case, okay, you want to get out, you can just tap this. Okay? And then you're going to get out there. Okay? Now we're going to use this uh, order, this one. There's a lot of stuff here, a lot of things. But since, you know, you are new, you don't know much about this, I don't want to cover it. Just to show you guys, then in command print this one is gonna show you um your router. Okay, so you see there's a lot of numbers here. <laughs> the network, uh, the net mask, uh, gateway interface. Okay, there's a lot of things here. So um, 
we have something uh source a uh, destination all right you know um when you go online you send the email you go on a web page website right now you know when you're ty- when you're typing the message travel when you send me an email it's gonna travel to come to me right but in real life when uh you want to send me a letter i live in canada you live in uh, africa or australia or europe right back in the day you have to go to the post office right you drop it there and then from there they're gonna deliver to canada but it's not gonna come right away to my place when you go to let's say you live in congo you get a letter you drop to the post office in congo after that the destination is gonna be to canada when it comes to Canada, it's not going to come to my place. No, it's going to go to the Canadian Post Office. After that, they're going to deliver to my place, right? But in, uh, com- in computer, we have a different lay. We have uh, something it's called like um, application lay. We have a presentation lay. We have the session lay. We have a uh, networking lay. We have, uh, uh, there's a different one. Uh, there's another course I'm going to explain to you guys how the message travel from Canada, the U.S., from Canada, Australia, from Canada, Africa, from Canada. This one I'm talking about is like logical thinking. All right? So I'm going to go with you guys step by step. That way you're going to understand. All right? Because I don't want to cover a lot of things here right now. It's going to be too much. All right? Yeah, I clean this. So when you take a look, the way I type them, something's not right there. Right? So. So, go there. Same thing. There's a lot of message there. You don't really get it. What is this? Don't panic. Yeah. See. Right. Same thing. So, when you take a look, the message we got here, the local area connection. We got node, IP address is right there, scope. We got no name in cache, right? Let's see. And, uh, right, you're going to see here we got Kinshasa, this, this, this. We got type unique. We got uh, statue. We got uh, register. All those information here, right? So, see, we got R. So here, it's about uh, the net bio name, resolution, register. Okay, so got S. Right now, when we go to uh, we type this. Okay. So here, when you take a look, we just got uh, not really a lot of formation here. But if we go this, right? In the case we want to use A, B, C, so you're going to read what they really do. And let's try A. We type A. Uh, that. E. So, in computer, like the way I said, we have uh, the protocol, we have the package. 
Okay? We have the package. When you send a message, there's a package there, right? It has uh, the message there. Same thing when you send me email. Uh, when you send me the, the you live in Africa, or you live in Europe. When you send send me a gift, there's a package. There's a stuff inside of that package, right? So email, I mean the the message also has. Let's say you send me the message, say hi, this kind of information inside of it. It's a package, right? So. So you can see here we got uh we got here TCP. In case you don't get about TCP, it's okay. I have a my the other course. I'm gonna explain to you guys about TCP and IP. Okay? I'm gonna cover TCP. I'm gonna cover uh UDP. A lot of stuff. Okay. So uh you see here we have uh, uh active, open. Passive open, failure connection, all this kind of stuff. Segment, all this, okay? But if you don't get it, it's okay for now, right? So we have... Let's okay, now... I know the video is kind of long, okay? So this, I just want to cover this one for today. My, the other video, okay? I'm going to cover the other thing, the other stuff. I'm going to cover a lot of them. So I'm going to stop here for today. In case you don't get it, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to try my best as I can to help you guys. If you have a question, visit my website. So thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye. <music>